that do with that problem? Uh, C sharp B, C sharp B. Let's go, you're going to go to So I was asked to make a pedal board, and without knowing much about music, I had to do a little research about it, and more specifically, the way a pedal board is used while playing music. If you're not familiar with what a pedal board is, it's a, a panel or some type of surface area to hold the different effects pedals that are used while playing music, which is more common with guitars. Uh, I looked online and I searched for some images to get an idea of how to make this pedal board that I knew very little about. But I saw a lot of boards made of different materials uh, but I was asked to make one out of wood. Uh, at first, I thought this needs to be made from hardwood and add in some hand cut dovetails and just make it really nice. And of course, my dovetails aren't that great, uh, but I proceeded to go through the stash of hardwoods that I had and picked out a few options. But then it occurred to me that, you know, most folks didn't have access to a lot of hardwoods or you know that type of wood so they would probably like to see this made with more common materials and I remembered thinking that I wanted to try to incorporate the ply look that I got from using pure bond plywood uh, I like using the pure bond plywood for a couple of reasons beyond the cool ply look uh, it is eco-friendly because it's formaldehyde free and it's made right here in the US but not only that it's also affordable and most folks have access to it so I decided to make the pedal board from the plywood and try to incorporate the uh, different plies and the stripe look that you get from the edge grain uh, as I was making the board, I also had another thought. Maybe not to use uh, any metal fasteners. So I only used wood glue and quarter inch dowel rods. Uh, I used a quarter inch Forstner bit to drill the hole uh, for each slat uh, to where each piece of wood would meet and the dowel rod would connect the two and with glue that should hold it. So I cut off the excess of each dial rod once I had it glued in place, just with a small handsaw. Uh, and then after that, all I had to do was sand and finish. And that would be it. As with any project, I get to the end and I just want to wrap it up so I can see the final product or the final result. I have to admit, finishing is my least favorite part of the project. But it's also my most favorite part. Let me explain. I don't enjoy finishing or the finishing process, but I do enjoy the look that the finish provides in the very end. I'm pleased with how the dowel rods showed up after the finish was applied and also the look of the edge grain ply. It turned out great, I thought. But I probably say this about a lot of my projects that this was one of my favorites. And I say that because in making this pedal board, it made me realize how much I appreciate music and the way it makes me feel. I had to find out the true meaning of music. So, what is music? After searching, I found that it's vocal or instrumental sounds, or both, combined in such a way as to produce beauty of form, harmony, and expression of emotion. For me, it's the emotion. I find inspiration and motivation 
more often than not when music is introduced to anything going on around me. So I'm thankful for projects like this that allow me to learn about something that I wouldn't otherwise take the time to discover. If this is your first time here and you are enjoying this video, uh, consider subscribing to our channel to be notified of future projects. Uh, take a minute to get our free project ebook and be sure to check out the plans for this project. Uh, you can check those out over on the website at stonemansons.net slash plans. I'll link everything down in the description for you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Yes.